In this tutorial, I will show you how to combine photos and create a double exposure design in Procreate step by step. Before we start, you can download all tutorial files free of charge via the link in the video description. If you are ready, let's get started! To begin with, I'll go ahead and create a new canvas with the size of my iPad screen. It is a 12.9 inch iPad Pro, so the screen is 2732 by 2048 pixels. Since it is a double exposure tutorial, we will need at least two photos to combine, then there are two extra images for the background. You can get these copyright free photos along with the humble color palette under the video free of charge. As always, I will share some cool Procreate tricks along the way. If you enjoy learning Procreate with my YouTube tutorials, you can check out my Patreon page for more detailed videos and premium brush sets. It is also linked in the video description. Without further ado, let's start creating our cool design. We will start by cropping and importing our bare image into Procreate. And there are two different ways to crop it. If you have one of the newer iPads, you can take advantage of the new background removal feature and drag it into Procreate. If your iPad doesn't support this feature, you can crop it manually. I'll show you both ways. Let's start with the fancy background removal. Let's open the image on the Gallery or Files app. Tap and hold your finger on the subject. And it will be selected automatically. It looks like magic to me. The edges of the subject will illuminate and the menu will pop up. Keep in mind that before trying this feature, you need to ensure that the subject is clearly defined, otherwise the tool may not work properly. If you tried this and nothing happened, it is because your iPad doesn't support this feature. For example, it worked on this iPad Pro, but it didn't work on my older 7th generation iPad. Now to crop the image, we have two options here – copy and share. Let's go with copy to copy the selected bear into the clipboard. Then let's go back to Procreate, open the Actions menu, go to the Add tab and then tap on Paste. Allow Paste. It is cropped almost perfectly. We just need to fix a few imperfections quickly and after that I'll show you the second way to crop an image manually. Let's go to Eraser and select Soft Brush from Airbrushing. To see the sides better, we can go ahead and remove the background. Let me delete the grass. Also these soft popping areas. And to fix the imperfections on the sides of the fur, I think Sable Brush from Organic Set will be a good choice. Let's make the size a little bigger. And when removing this hair, we can follow the direction of the hair growth. The angle is changing in different parts. I think it looks all fine now. I will now show you how to crop the bear manually. First let me disable this layer with the bear. Now let's go to Actions, click on Insert a file and select the bear image from files. Go to Selection tool. With freehand option selected, outline the subject. This will take a while, I will just fast forward this part. Just make sure to outline the subject carefully. And in the end, don't forget to close your selection by tapping on the white circle. Now click on Invert, slide three fingers down to open the menu and select Cut. After that, Let's adjust all edges with the eraser, set to soft brush. You can do this until you are satisfied with the result. I will now delete this layer and bring back the first bare layer. Let me now adjust its size a little bit. I'll make it bigger. Just a little bit. In this step I will go and desaturate the bare. We can do that using hue saturation brightness option from adjustments. All we need to do is move the saturation slider all the way to the left. The bear became monochrome. Now it's time to insert the second image for double exposure design. It's a nice mountain landscape. When creating a design like this, finding good source images can take some time. If you just want to practice, these copyright free photos will suit. But if you are willing to sell your design, I think you'll have to buy extended license for the images you use. It depends on the website. The landscape is imported. And now we will create the double exposure effect using layer mask tool and color adjustments. First, let's try to match the mountain shapes with the bear's back. To be able to see the bear, 
I will lower the opacity of the landscape to make it slightly transparent. Now we can move it around the canvas, scale it and even rotate if needed. I'll place it this way. Then set the layer's opacity back to 100% and clip it to the bear. You can move it more if you like. Before anything else, to make these light parts with the sky disappear, we should change the contrast of the image. In Procreate it can be done using curves. This tool can be also found in Adjustment section. Let's go there and try to drag these points to different sides until light areas disappear. This one will go to the left and the other one is going to the opposite side. It worked just great, but only if we keep the background white. Let me change it into grey from the palette and as you can see, now it's not so perfect anymore. But no worries, there's a quick way to fix it. Let me just go to the layer with the landscape and in this menu I will set it to reference. Now we need to go back to the bear, click on selection tool icon and pick automatic. Ensure that the color fill is inactive and then start tapping on the white areas. If you see that selection is not working properly, just try to play around with the selection threshold. When all white areas are selected, we can slide three fingers down and click cut. Voila! Now we can play around with the colors on the mountains a bit more. Let's go back to the mountain layer and select hue saturation brightness from adjustments menu. Add a bit of saturation, adjust brightness or even color balance and curves until you are fully satisfied with the results. This stage is over. Next I'm going to duplicate the layer with the bear and drag it up to be put on top. But on this one I will unclip the layer and change the layer's mode into lighten. And lower the opacity to around 76%. This way we will get some subtle fur texture coming through the mountains. Just for more organic blending. Before we finish the work inside the bear, let's make the outer part. To do that I will duplicate the landscape and put it under the bear. Then I want to mask it. Now let's double tap here to select black color and fill the layer with it to vanish. Now we can grab white color, this way activating the tool to restore the mountain shapes that we want to see on the canvas. Let's select soft brush from airbrushing and just paint like this. To delete the parts that are off, we just need to switch back to black and it'll work as an eraser. We can also adjust the brush size during the process to get perfect results. Alright, now let's adjust the layer with the landscape. Firstly, we have this layer with the landscape that is clipped. I'm going to add a layer mask to it. Grab black color together with the soft brush and start removing the lower side of the landscape to reveal the fur. Let's do it carefully, without pressing too much on the pencil. After it's done, we should also go to the top layer with the bear. Mask it and remove some fur to blend everything together. Now the design is almost ready. It just requires some final touches. Of course, we could keep the bear in grayscale, I think it looks quite cool. But we can also try to experiment with colors. For that let me create a layer above the sleigh with the bear and fill it with brown color from the palette. Now let's set it to overlay mode and lower the opacity a little bit to make it less saturated. Maybe it would be nice if we also make the bear a bit lighter. It's totally up to you. And if you are working with a different photo, do the adjustments accordingly. The design got even better 
and I want to try another background. Let me insert this old paper image. Drag it down in the layers and then transform. We need to rotate it, stretch it to fit in the canvas and then I will change its color too. There is this yellow-orange color in the palette that we can just drag on the canvas. The texture will stay and color is now slightly different. Now we have some place above the mountains where we can place some birds. So let me insert the last image with flying birds. We need to make it smaller. I will flip it horizontal. And erase two of the birds. Keep only five. Now let's change the lace mode into darken to remove the background quickly. And in the last step, we only need to add the shadows under the bear. To do that, let's add a new layer right above the background. Then change the color into dark brown, go to sketching and select all pastel. Then start making horizontal strokes. The size is set to 7% here. I will make strokes in these areas under the bear. Let's make it smaller to add darker shadows. And after this final step, our double exposure design with the bear is complete. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. For more tutorials and brush sets, check out my Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon!